It does kind of look like I'm naked on camera with this bra, so maybe I should put on a t-shirt. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Tonight is my quasi birthday party. Not really, I mean, kind of. It's me and Pat's birthday party. Two vlogs ago, I turned 27. That was at home with my parents in Tennessee. And I kind of wanted to do something with my friends. Patrick's birthday is July 31st and then mine's August 1st. We've done a joint birthday party together in the past. Megan and I did a house party for Valentine's Day. And then we also did like a smaller gathering for Easter, but we haven't had like a party in a while, bigger party in a while. So this is called the Bug Base Blowout. Bug Base is what we call our house, by the way. I don't know if I've ever said that on here. We call everyone bug and then we call our house bug base. So bug base blowout. So it is a birthday party, but it's like not really at all a birthday party. That being said, Megan did bake me and Patrick cake. So I think people will be singing us happy birthday, even though our birthday was like two weeks ago. Um, but I love a house party because I just get to be comfortable in my own home and I don't have to worry about Ubers and I can drink as much as I want. And it's my home turf. But honestly, the cleanup, I don't feel like is ever that bad. Megan and I do a pretty good job of cleaning up drunk the night before. So when we wake up, we don't have that much to do. Today is Friday and we are doing a house party. That's the first part of this vlog. I don't know where else this vlog will take us, but we are starting with just a good old, good old fashioned house party. I'm going to get ready in like the next 30 minutes, but I'm going to show you guys what kind of the setup is right now at this point in time. Here's our table. Sadly, I did not finish my canvas. That would be much better if I finished my canvas and had that on the wall. Megan made these cakes for me and Pat. There's the S for me and the P for Pat. So cute. And I guess we'll put drinks and stuff on there in a second. But for now, that's what we have. And then we bought all of these snacks. I already opened the barbecue chips, of course, but Tostitos, salsa, sour cream and onion. Filled this whole fridge with some seltzers. Honestly, what's scary is that's probably gonna run out. You know, hopefully people are bringing more drinks, but I have another case of White Claw back in the closet. I moved my little office chair in the corner over there. And then I've moved the dining chairs into my office because you know what? We're protecting our people. Piece. Last time someone spilt something and now we just don't let people sit on these at house parties, you know, because it's it's just not worth it So they're in my office covered up with a blanket might seem a little bit insane But we have these chairs. I just don't feel like moving them in there at the moment I don't really know what I want to wear. It is interesting dressing for your own party in your own home I think for Valentine's Day I wore my slippers the whole time. Don't know what my attire is gonna be I think this is what I'm wearing my new skirt from Lisa says God this tank is from Bilibino old me would have been like absolutely not can't wear this my bra straps are showing but me now it's kind of look. I don't know what I like about it. I just think it looks kind of good. I think this is what I'm wearing and then I'll probably just like wear socks. Assert dominance by showing that I don't have to wear shoes. Right now the Partyful, if you guys haven't heard of Partyful, it's like this website where you can like make events and like invite people. It's great. Everyone does it in LA. On the Partyful right now it says 52 people are coming, which is definitely not accurate because there are some people that have said yes that like literally aren't in town. I feel like a good guess is like 30. Watch it be like 10 people and I'm just like wildly embarrassed. Tristan isn't in town because he's at Matt's bachelor party, which is sad. I really wish Tristan were here. Some people are coming that I have not seen in so long, like Grace. I have not seen her in weeks. And then some other friends from just like different parts of my life. I haven't really looked at the list since I like first sent it out and was getting replies like the first few days. I have not looked at it this week. I think I'm gonna just surprise myself. I'm just gonna not look at the list and just see who shows up. I guess I could go get myself a drink right now. I bought myself some high noons today because I have just been craving one. I like starting with a high noon and then going into a white claw, you know, because you can't drink a high noon all night because it's a little bit too sweet. Sadly, Quinn, my friend from home who's been on here a few times is not coming. I invited him like weeks ago and I was like, you should come in town, you should buy a ticket. I was talking to him on FaceTime today and I was like, are you coming tonight? And he was like, no, I am literally still in Georgia. And I was like, okay, how does that look? that look okay? Looks the same as always, so. I already sprayed perfume. Should I do something with my hair or do we like it just down? Maybe I could do like a claw clip, one of these. This one holds my hair like so tight that like sometimes it's concerning. The only bad thing about a house party is that there's no possibility of like meeting anyone new because I, I know everyone coming. I mean, unless they bring a friend, they're probably dating them if they're bringing a friend. Do we like that? I mean, I don't know. You guys can kind of see it from behind. Do we like the kind of like triangle effect? God, I can't see for shit. Let's do that. And if we're uncomfortable we can come switch it halfway through the party because i live here party starts in like 30 minutes i mean i i think people are probably going to show up fashionably late but this is this is me before the party here's our whole setup it's looking gorgeous i'm opening my first drink we are going with a black cherry high noon which is my favorite variety of high noon cheers hey y'all here with riley bug hey everybody it's me riley bug i just want to say a big old happy birthday to my girl over here sally dark griffin bug love her to riley? death Love her to pieces. And also, happy birthday, Big Patrick. Love you as well, but this isn't your camera, so you don't get any words of affirmation, but love you both. What's your favorite thing about me and Patrick? 
turning 26 oh and 27. God. It doesn't make me feel so old because I am still 26. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Which softens the blow of Patrick just having turned 26. Happy birthday, Sally Dar and Patrick. Go Leos, they scare the shit out of me, but they throw a good party. So live it up. Is this thing on? <laughs> Kyle gets camera shy. <laughs> hey, Sally Dar's vlog! This is my debut! Hi, Sally Dar's vlog. I'm a new I'm five foot eight. I'm looking for a single young bachelor for anyone to give me attention. And I love Sally Dart. Happy birthday, Sally Dart. And Patrick. Kayla literally came to me and she goes, Do you think we should do cake? And I was like, That is not my life. You gotta come inside. opportunities for Channing, you can reach me at her appearance rate is going to be a minimum of a Yeah, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Woo! Kyle, we have Oh, that's good. Kyle. Woo! 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 Kyle, are you taking questions for the, for the camera? That is 
questions? Yeah, we're doing questions uh, for Kyle. Kyle Love. Questions for from you right oh, now. You right. ask us questions. Sally Dart and Channing, where did you guys just come from? <laughs> Yeah, where did you come from? from? Just, just come from. With, with Stereo Lane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 best song. T. Davidson, best song ever. Got yeah, me happy, happy, got me happy, happy. Can we name the song to your man of the month. Like, I don't care. You've just got to. It's like a minute. <laughs> I know. She'll never mm -hmm. do it. She will again. never. Going to the Drake concert tomorrow. We'll check back in. Party's over. Everyone's gone home. I love being the host, but I also hate it because I like genuinely don't know if anyone had fun. Like the whole night I was just like, is everyone having a good time? And I think that they were, but I also don't know if they're lying to me. Megan was like, I'm going to bed. I am leaving you guys. And I sat on the couch for a little bit longer with some people. Now it's my turn to go to bed. My scrunchie has white claw on it. Okay. I hope you guys had a good time. I was just eating a bunch of barbecue chips at 1 a.m. My hands were tied. I feel like the sign of a good party is when you have a few strangers in the building, and I feel like we had people I knew. People I knew that I didn't invite, but that's fine. They, they can come. That's fine. And people I didn't know. I think that's what you want. Like, I want a few strangers at my party, because, like, you want someone that you know convincing people that you don't know that it's important enough for them to show up to a party that they don't really know me. And we had that, but we didn't have too much of it because if it was like a lot of that, I would have been like, why are all these people in my home? But it was just enough that I was like, good, good. You should be here. For some reason, someone convinced you that this is where you needed to be. And I love that. In a weird way, I actually enjoy the strangers the most. I feel like they're vital to the situation. They're vital to my ego. I'm gonna finish my skincare routine off camera. If that's okay with everyone, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey y'all. I bought a breakfast burrito at the grocery store yesterday, a preemptive frozen breakfast burrito. Not really hungover right now, but I still want the bread. Sorry, I flushed the toilet and it's, it just stopped. I'm not hungover, which is great news, but I still am gonna eat the breakfast burrito. Chicken chorizo burrito. a lot of salsa with my breakfast burritos, if that wasn't obvious. Miss Bug and I are at the movies and we're yes. seeing theater camp, which theater camp. she's already seen. It's but so funny, I have to see it again. She's I did not be a changed woman after I know. she sees this film. She had to really convince me to leave the house today. I was not interested, but here we are. Here we are. The free drinks because we have vouchers oh, due right. to the Barbie. Due to the incident. Barbie scandal, we do have free <laughs> drinks and popcorn. Sarah and I picked up some kava after the movies, which I've never had kava, so I'm really excited to try it. This tray, Lizzie got me, she brought it last night. And she was like, I don't know if you'll use it, but I was like, I have the perfect place to put it. So I always have so many little things. Perfect. She got it from this brand, which I've never heard of, but I'm gonna look it up. And of course she gave me a little birthday card with her personalized stationery and she wrote, super Southern, sorry. As if I don't have my own stationery. The last thing I wanna do is make my bed right now. I left it for future me and now I'm hating myself. The movie was was so good by the way like so good all of my friends saw it a few weeks ago but I ended up not going because I think I literally was editing our 4th of July vlog and I was like I have to get this done Sarah liked it so much that she wanted to go again one of my favorite movies of all time is Little Miss Sunshine it's in my top four on Letterbox. like I love Little Miss Sunshine I like Little Miss Sunshine for a variety of reasons but one thing I love about it is I just like love like the performance aspect it's so fun seeing kids like do something that they've like planned for or practiced and it's like they're putting on a 
show for adults. Like, I just think it's so cute. I loved this one because it was like the same energy. Like, it was kids putting on a play. One thing that I'm really excited for when I'm a mom is like seeing my kids do like an organized activity, like whether it's a play or like soccer, something where like they have to use their brains and like work with other kids, but like another adult is running it. So I just get to sit back and like watch them do it. I don't know if that makes any sense. I just think it's really sweet. But I also just like love it in movies for some reason. It's like very meta. At my elementary school, we were required to do a play every single year. I loved being in the plays in elementary school and I loved like watching the plays and it was always so fun because like you could see your siblings in the plays. This movie was like so funny and it's like the perfect length. It's like an hour and a half and I had a great time and I'm happy Sarah got me to leave the house because I was not going to leave the house. I was going to be here all day. See Theater Camp if you haven't already. It was such a good movie. Cannot recommend it enough. I've procrastinated long enough. I think I need to make my bed. gonna do a live taste test. I don't honestly, I do know what I got, but I don't. Greens and grains. I wanted to get lamb, but they didn't have it. So I got chicken. I got like the crazy feta. I got hummus and I got like a bunch of toppings. Like I feel like I got every fucking topping possible. It's actually crazy that I haven't tried this yet because like this is so up my alley. I went through a big Mediterranean phase, probably like in college. I was like addicted to just like Mediterranean food. And now I don't really like eat it quite as much. I still love it. Me in college, I would have freaked the fuck out over this, but they definitely did not have this in New Orleans. I don't feel like I heard of it until I moved out here. Good. Let me try the crazy hummus that I feel like everybody's obsessed with. Mmm. It's really interesting. They used to have this. Oh my God. There was a period in college when I was like home during the summers or like Thanksgiving or whatever. Some nights I would end up eating at Whole Foods like for dinner with my family. I used to just go to the hot bar and like make like a big bowl of stuff. They used to have this dressing there at Whole Foods that was like a, it was like a Mediterranean dressing and it had like chunks of feta in it. And then they discontinued it. Like they just didn't serve it at the hot bar anymore. I still think of that dressing like all the time. And I feel like this crazy feta dressing is the closest I've had to that ever. I think about that dressing all the time. It's very good. I ended up getting some like lemon tahini dressing, but I got this like garlic to try. Cause I was like, oh, I wonder, I wonder what that's like, but I got it on the side. Wait, I'm just gonna lick it. Oh, that's like really garlicky. It's pretty good though. I feel like I could dip my pita in this. Let's see. That's good. That is really garlicky, but that's good. Okay, well, I love kava. They're opening one up at Century City, which is where we just went to the movies. So that'll be great. Like going to see a movie and then picking this up for dinner. I see that as being like a new routine in my future. I like kava. I, I can't believe it took me this long to try it. Mediterranean Chipotle. I'm gonna eat this and watch a program if you don't mind. Probably YouTube. I don't know what though. Today is Sunday. I went on a walk this morning and I made some coffee and now we're here on my back porch tanning. I was just FaceTiming Quinn, just catching up and I was like, I kind of think I should do some work. But he was like, no, I think you should go. I think you should go outside. It's a Sunday, you know, it's like a universal day of relaxation. So you shouldn't be trying to be productive. And I was like, you know what? That's kind of right. I'm not really in the mood to start a new book at the moment. So I didn't read, sorry. Maybe next vlog. It is like kind of a little hot today. I wish there was a little bit more breeze, but worst thing that happens is I go in and I jump in a cold shower and I come back out. It's actually so hot. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stay out here that long. Sarah's coming over and Sodi's coming over. We'll see how long I last. I'm literally going to hop in the shower. I'm already so fucking hot. <laughs> Just a quick, quick cold shower. Then I can go longer. Sodi bugs here. I can't believe you beat Sarah. Is she coming? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god, I didn't even know we were racing. You Happy are. Sunday to Happy Sally Sunday. Dara's vlog. Hey Sarah Bug. Hey there, how are we? So good. I'm it's loving it. It's hot as hell out here. Eating kava, drinking water, reading Jeanette McCurdy's novel. I'm gonna read that book after you. Can I read that book after you? Mm -hmm. It's got no telling. It's perfect. Does anyone want ice time? And that is the end of the vlog. Actually, I need to show you guys this. Sarah gave me that apron that Channing was wearing all night, but she also gave me this cookie jar. Is this not the cutest cookie jar you've ever seen? I'm obsessed with it. Now it's the end of the vlog. You can follow me on Instagram. I actually just posted some photos in this exact outfit. If you want to go see, I thought they were pretty cute. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, which is now X, Snapchat, and Letterboxd. And you can subscribe to me on here, which would be really so fucking sweet of you to do. Apparently there's a hurricane hitting California this weekend. And I think I should just like go to the store and get some shit and like fill up my car with gas because my mom told me to. With that, this is goodbye.